a lot of the world doesn't have this Jeffersonian heart ready to beat in their chest. Um, and so they very much reject and they don't even speak our language really. And, um, because of that, I think we are losing our position in the world and just the, the rise of China has been predicted for almost 20 years. We've known the shift is coming. We're just feeling it in real time right now. And it's playing out in the middle East. What Americans have to wrestle with, I think in this moment, especially with the rise of another superpower is can we be who we are unabashedly who we are espousing the values espousing democracy but be comfortable working with countries that are not quite there yet that have not gone through a renaissance and a reformation and an enlightenment and all these different things and be a little bit more patient you know, we have very short attention spans and we want the whole world to change in our lifetime. Can we take it a little bit slower? Can we work with a country like Saudi Arabia, you know, eating the fish and spitting out the bones, as they say? It's hard for us to do that. And it's hard for Christians. It's hard for anyone. Like, it's just baked into our, our identity. So that, I think, is a big kind of upstream challenge of U.S. foreign policy, no matter which administration it will be. And... Um, it's not sexy, you know, it's not, it doesn't give us that, that feeling that we want to feel that we're really changing things. But in the world that we live in, I think preserving a minimal amount of stability, a minimal amount of trade and, and mutual respect and, you know, God willing friendship between states is, is actually a pretty big win. Um, how we get there as the American people, especially in an era when we're all ready to like disengage left and right is, is I think really the big question.